Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're covering 10 best features within Parallels Desktop for Mac. So we're very frequently using Parallels on this channel as it's a great software that you can use to run Windows on Mac or other virtual machines, and it works very seamlessly with the Mac OS. So it's my personal pick for virtualization on Mac. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first great feature that Parallels is offering is speed. Now I've got a 2018 MacBook in front of me. Now with newer Macs, especially ones that have the silicon chips, opening a Windows application without anything previously open takes less than three seconds with Parallels. So it's extremely fast and you don't have to sit there waiting for Windows to launch. Now the next feature is the refresh speed that you can find. So the newest Apple ProMotion displays get up to 120 frames per second. And Parallels themselves have tested their speeds on the ProMotion display within Parallels Desktop 18. And they were able to get 120 frames per second or just slightly under, which is very impressive. Now the next feature is controller compatibility in Parallels. So I know a lot of people like to pick up Parallels to run Windows games on their Mac because there's a lot of games that just aren't compatible with Mac. And in Parallels Desktop 18, simply connecting a controller, like a PS4 controller, for example, through your Bluetooth settings on your Mac interface will automatically connect it to Parallels without having to do anything else. Now, the next best feature in Parallels Desktop 18 is the host operating system support. So not only is it compatible with the latest Mac OS Ventura, but it's also compatible with Mac OS Big Sur, Mac OS Monterey, Mac OS Catalina, and Mac OS Mojave. The next feature in Parallels Desktop 18 is Stage Manager support within OS Ventura. So when you're in coherence mode on Mac OS Ventura, Parallels will treat Windows apps just like Mac apps, which makes it even that much more seamless and useful when you're running those Windows applications. Now the next feature in Parallels Desktop 18 is the guest operating system support. So whether you have an Intel processor or an M series processor, you'll be able to run many Linux distributions, Windows 11, and previous versions of Mac OS. And with an Intel Mac such as this one, you can also run older operating systems such as Windows 7 and Windows XP. The next feature in the business edition of Parallels Desktop 18 is a feature called Single Sign-On. So this is gonna eliminate headache in a corporate setting where many users are activating the same Parallels desktop account. So rather than people individually signing on, you just have a corporate account log on and you'll use that to access Parallels. Now the next feature that makes Parallels Desktop 18 a fantastic software to use is the toolbox. So it's got over 50 unique tools that can help you with your virtualization and they're consistently adding new features to this toolbox. One new feature added to the toolbox in Parallels Desktop 18 is the encrypt feature. So with this tool, you can encrypt and decrypt files. And this tool can also store the passwords you use for the encryptions in the Mac keychain. And the final feature that we're gonna talk about today is called Parallels Access. So Parallels Access is gonna allow you to connect remotely to your Mac from iPads or iPhones. And you can use the Mac applications on your connected device just as if they were iPad applications. You could use Mac apps such as PowerPoint, or you can even use Windows apps such as Microsoft Access all from your iPad. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. We're gonna be releasing more Parallels and VirtualBox training videos to help you guys out. Again, if you're interested in purchasing an operating system to use on your Parallels or on your PC, check out those links in the description box below. If you guys have any questions for us, let us know and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.